On New Tonight at 10, it's a growing trend across the country and now part of an investigation into a murder-suicide in Lenexa. As KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez explains, the shooter found a loophole to get the gun used to kill two people and himself. This may, may be the first really truly high-profile case that we've had in the Kansas City area. Besides discovering three people shot inside this Lenexa house Sunday morning, a search warrant shows officers found several guns and a knife associated with the suspect, Dustin Johnson, who killed himself at the scene. Police note his assault rifle had no serial numbers and was made using various parts. It's what they call a ghost gun. And that gun doesn't have to have the required markings that a gun that we walk into a gun store and purchase has to have. It's an alternative for those who can't legally purchase a firearm. According to court records, the 37-year-old suspect in Lenexa's murder-suicide was a convicted felon following a 2008 theft case out of Lynn County, Kansas. The ATF says parts for a ghost gun can be made on a 3D printer or bought online. They even offer kits. You can put this thing together in 45 minutes to an hour. It's a problem that the Midwest is beginning to see after it exploded on the coast where there's strict gun laws. In San Diego, police recovered more than 500 ghost guns last year, a 1,000% increase from 2019. Probably almost one, maybe and four guns that we get a day. At least one of them is a ghost gun. Cops in Buffalo, New York are also seeing more of these ghost guns. In 2020, we had five ghost guns that we took off the street. And in 2021, we took 70. Here at home, while some criminals are using loopholes in the law, most are sticking to traditional means. Throughout this part of the Midwest, crime guns are typically stolen guns. It's been that way for a long time, and it'll remain that way because we're a very gun-friendly culture. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.